Hey, this is Black Titanic. You guys, this video is coming by way of Empress Radio. And this is Martel. He's having a ball for Mother's Day. He got all these women just loving on him for Mother's Day. He is just having a ball. And let me tell y'all something. Ariel sees this and must have... Somebody must have told Arian that he was on live with all these women's child because Ariel pops up and he ignores her. He's calling out everybody. Hey, hey, Miss Virginia. Hey, Miss Texas. You know, he's just smiling and talking to these women. Then he called his mother up and tell his mother say something for Happy Mother's Day. Then Arian pops up right after Mama pops up in there. And he ignored her. Then she's going to pop up again. He's going to ignore her. But when he finally say something, he's going to say, Happy Mother's Day to my baby mothers. That's what he's going to say. I don't think she's going to take that too lightly. But I'm going to play it, y'all. Try to look carefully for her name. Oh, no. Hold on. Is that the clean version? Hold on, Mom. Is that the clean, was that the clean version? I think it was, I don't even know. Oh, Lord, right? No, I just changed the song. Happy Mother's Day. To all the mothers. Oh, and also, and listen, you guys know when, um, like, we can say Happy Mother's Day to some of the fathers, you know, who, who's acting as mothers, too, when they have, a, you know, the kids full-time and things like that, that they're nurturers, they're, like, they're, you know, caregivers and things like that, so... Happy Mother's Day to everybody, even the fathers too, who puts it down out there. So much love to all of y'all. What's the matter? Y'all see all them women in the day day day. To my kids' as mother. All right? See? See what they say to my kids' as mother. Now let me go back. Let me go back, y'all. That was the end of it. Let me try to find on, where Ariel was in. I need to come out there and gamble a little bit. Y'all always appreciate the new dad. We're going to get on some steak. No one like me saying and all that kind of stuff. My mom, she loves steak. Virginia Beach, what's up? Oh. Yeah, everybody I associated with, they can cook. Yep, steak set. Mama! My mama said she never heard of... <clears throat> Mama, my mama said she never heard of um, real potatoes, right? And now somebody just mentioned real potatoes. Mama, um, see somebody who mentioned real potatoes. Y'all see all them women giving him all that attention. Mimi, there go one guy, one guy. This is way too long for there she go, y'all. Look, Arian. Everybody you associate with. Arian. Bye, Mr. Hoax. I gotta get myself Okay, y'all did see that, did y'all? Y'all go to Empress Radio and, and, and uh, see the whole video. But before this, y'all, he called. He didn't call Mel's name, but we knew he was talking about Mel. He said when the uh, his other lady or somebody, whoever he was with, uh, she would do all the sides, like the macaroni cheese. You know, he go out there and do the husband duties, like the grill out. But when it came to Arian, when Arian said everybody you associate with, she wanted her name to be called. He said everybody I associate with could cook. She wanted her name to be up front and center. She wants him to recognize her and call her name in public, but he will not do it. But get this, y'all. Uh, that manager must have told um, Martel he need to do this like Arian do. Right after the show, you know, you need to get on air. So that's what he's doing. He 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 got on air right after the show. He beat Arian into the punch this time. But she's hot and she's mad, y'all. Go to uh, Empress Radio and and watch it full. Oh. No one ain't no good cook, right? Oh. 
Oh my God. How you gonna do a cookbook of dear everybody? You not a good cook. That's my tail fire. I'm not a good cook, but you want to sell a cookbook? Man, my tail. Some men are literally pacified by their mothers. Some men are not told that you were wrong by their mother. Some men are still um, patted on their back by their mothers because their mothers never had a husband. Their mothers were never um, the apple of the eye for a man. So a mother literally looks at their son like their son is their man. Knox will not be my man. Now, I will tell Knox what's up. I'm not going to raise Knox where he's going to think that everything that he does is okay or everything that he does is right. Like, I'm going to tell my son, you were wrong for that. You don't need to do that. I'm not about to praise him. So, you know, um, she's, I got to agree with her on that. Uh, my tell mom, she's always proud of him. Y'all know I imitate her sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, um, she is just like, she just like Martel's um, mother. She's treating her son just like Martel's mother treat him. Anything that baby do, she's going to make excuses for him. Now, we all seeing this baby beat her up. We all seeing this baby screaming. And she'll say, look at the, at the camera and say, yeah, my son don't cry all the time. And he hollering and yelling and having temper tantrum. Y'all, my son is good. And he beating and kicking and biting. So, you know, she makes up excuses for her son, but she makes up excuses for Martel too, y'all. That's really what she got to say. There is war going on between Martel mother and her. I saw him. he's not about to think because he walks around with a penis that he is that nigga like nigga, please. My son gonna cry sometimes and his mama gonna look at him and be like, boy, you better suck it up. And if y'all don't like that, I don't give a fuck. Because that's my... Hey, happy Mother's Day. I guess it's almost over with. But hopefully you guys enjoyed your day. Listen, y'all. Y'all know Martel. He always doing something backwards. <laughs> Him and Cole Small, just alike. I'm telling you, the reason he like Cole Small... It's because he don't have to be challenged mentally. That's it. He don't have to be challenged mentally. In that relationship, he is the smarter one. But anyhow, Mr. Acklin is the businessman that he went to. Mr. Acklin, y'all, he is a big-time general contractor. He serves uh, Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi. North and South Carolina, and uh, one other state. I, I, it, it, it's a few more other states that he serves. So he he's not only local; he is just almost all over the United States working and got a team working for him. That's how big time this man is. So Marcel Mar Martel gonna go to him. And of course, the man may consider you, you know, but he gonna he's gonna tell him that one of the qualifications that he desires is that Martel have a builder license. I, you can't come to me, and I got this booming company coming, and then I get audited by the state. And you my default for them to shut me down? Oh, no, it don't work that way, Martel. But anyway, Martel excuses that way. You know, we men's. We men's. We not like no woman. He he was throwing shade to Melody, you know. Uh, 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 women's fall out, you know. They don't know how to combat. But men's, we can trust each other and we can talk things out. So, no, I don't need a build a license. So the guy gonna say, well, what if things don't work out right? What is everything flunk? 
he, he's trying to, you know, educate uh, uh Martel. You got to look out for yourself, bruh. You can't always ride my coattail and nobody else's coattail. Nobody else's way. You got to have your own stuff together so you can be able to to fly like an eagle on your own. You know, Martel, like, no, I don't need no license. Why do I need a license? Why do I need to build a license? But y'all, let me tell you. They said that he done took a, like the thing uh uh eight times, so I don't know. But anyhow, that's that's Martel for you. Okay, let's listen to him. Mr. Fred Atkins. Oh God, let me speed it up. I am not going back. This is a commercial, y'all. I talked to y'all this go off. Here it comes. Yeah, look like he in uh, like Harvest, Alabama. You know, I have not done much when it comes to building, when it comes to work of anything, really, you know. So, um, me get my feedback with you know, me um, making money, me building is gonna put me in a, a whole different light. So, you said you closed that one, yeah, yeah, man, but yeah, I closed last week, matter of fact. So you know I won't be playing around. Twelve twenty four. Want to click it though? Oh yeah. So yeah. That, yeah. This platform. So that, that yeah yeah. So that's all that act. That's accurate in terms of the yeah. so that mix is on there. That's good to go. Yeah, you can submit this man. Sounds great. Yeah. That's all we need. Yeah. That's all you need. yeah. When you forward that to Max and that on to the mm -hmm. turn, you can get a closing date. Yeah. So I just want to just make sure everything uh, lined up accordingly. But honestly, I'm glad to just see you back in the game like that. So you get that going, man. You know, yeah. I, you know, honestly, man, I'll be glad to see you. Hey, listen, what you going to say? Me get my license again? Well, I'm going to get too. <laughs> again, get your license again. You ain't never had your license. Your wife had your license. Yeah, they got the time to them, brother. They holler for you. Yeah. What's up with that? And uh, yeah, Mel Nick, she um she pushed me to get my own building license too. I mean, what yeah. you thinking? No, well, what I was thinking is the same reason that I'm I'm, I'm with you now. Because I was thinking like, okay, ain't no reason to get my license, you know? I mean, but I guess. It's, <laughs> I guess it's cool to have my own <laughs> hey y'all, y'all see he laughed at him in his face because.
Okay, you guys, y'all saw that. Y'all know what that remind me of? Do y'all remember when Coleslaw had to do that advertisement uh, wine commercial for uh, Martell? And her brain cells just would not let her deliver. But do y'all see how Mel delivered? Mel advertised her business. I mean, she was gone like a motor mouth. She knew her stuff. She was well educated on uh, on what they needed to do. So, Coleslaw, you can't even compare to Mel. You can't even advertise a wine. This coming from Love and, and Marriage, Huntsville Straight No Chaser. Martell is still trying to ride everyone's cocktails, just like he did Mel. This man knows he's slower than a bag of rocks and cannot pass the builder's exam. I heard he, he took it eight times. Patricia Harris. Hell, starting to wonder if he can read, if he can read. He act like he's so busy looking for someone to carry him. They got three replies. Let's see what they're saying. Tiffany said, it's pitiful. I don't see what he brings to the show now. Every scene is him begging somebody for something. Very true. Patricia Harris says, those state tests are very difficult. Yeah, they're difficult. That's why you have to study to pass. But it looks like Martell so used to riding everybody coattail till he don't want to get off the train. He don't want to have to get out here and hustle and study like everybody else did. And I'm going to tell y'all some. You know, uh, when I took my nursing exam, my state board nursing exam, I failed the first one. I went back and I passed it, but I was not going to give up. If I had to take it four or five times, I was going to take it till I passed it. But what I did was went and got some help, some tutoring. So, you know, that's all you do. Get yourself a little tutoring. And my baby daddy together. Like that. But it's nothing to see here though. Because I will call him and he'll answer that phone. So it's nothing to see here. Okay, Aaron, we get it. He he, he did not it's acknowledge you. That's serious. Question, get some self esteem, Aaron. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Arthur Oma of the Black Titanic. Hit that like button, share and subscribe. Remember, eagles flies with eagles. All right, now hit the like button, share and subscribe. This is Arthur Oma, and remember, eagles fly with.